Hey guys and welcome to Wasteland 3. Um, up front, I backed this game back on Fig a couple of years ago and um, I did not play Wasteland 1. I played a little bit of Wasteland 2, but I definitely am very excited to be playing Wasteland 3. I don't know if this is going to be a full playthrough. We're going to start it, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how you guys enjoy it, and we're going to go from there. And I also don't know how long these games actually are. Um, they can be quite lengthy from what I was told, but we'll see. I'm really excited anyway to get started on it. I hope you guys are going to have a good time with the episode, so let's get started. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. road lately but that's the thing about the rangers it doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall they keep on fighting the rangers never stop fighting that was pretty intense Okay, select the pair. Now, again, I never played Wastelands 1 and Wasteland 2. I literally just played a little bit. Um, I got that as part of a humble bundle. And um, at the time, I just had a lot of other things on my plate, so I never got really into it. But now it's the second channel. I thought I'd give these games a try. And uh, they are narrative games, so they definitely suit the channel. But let's see. Um, Young Rangers, that's the ones we have to pick. Um, I hope I don't have to go too deep into some of the skills and all that because my understanding of them is very limited uh, so yuri and trooper automatic weapons makes you more effective with submachine guns assault rifles recommended attributes coordination awareness and speed okay weapon modding allows you to modify weapons and strip them down for parts hard eyes well he looks pretty good no quirks okay yuri's father taught him the russian way to hunt using heavy weaponry overkill isn't enough for yuri in verbal or physical fights and demonstrating his competitive spirit often gets him into trouble 
this kind of um, when I was talking about it um, I can't wait for Baldur's Gate 3 I played Baldur's Gate uh, 1 and 2 uh, back in the days and um, again they have so many settings and so many skills and all this is it gets very confusing makes you more effective with handguns and shotguns okay that, I, I really like this couple already lovers and rivals since first joining the Rangers Yuri and Spence competitiveness what else do we have punk lovers Mailer combat. I don't know if I want to go with mailer uh, in small arms. Lock picking. Oh, that sounds like something useful though. Father and daughter. No, if the father dies or the daughter dies, I can't deal with that. Okay, what do we have here? Mentor and student. Big gun. Oh, big guns. Small arms. I'm wanting. I think I really like the guys that we started with. Oh, but here we have automatic weapons. Okay, I like autom I like the idea of automatic weapons. You see. Um, barter, that's very good. Allows you to buy items for less and sell them for more and kick ass. Connoisseur, perception plus one. Tech heads, and then here we have nerd stuff, weird science, and techie. So it's gonna be for me between young rangers and techie, to be honest. What do we have? Duelist. When the Arizona Crisis ends, the fight games joined to range evasion minus uh, evasion three percent range damage bonus. I think these guys just have maybe the more beginner friendly bonuses, and then we can create custom. We are not that ready for these type of games. So Yuri and Spence, I think, is gonna be it. Hold them up, Team November. Okay, so we're gonna have to protect um, Major Vera. Oh, combat started, okay. Enemy's turn. That's not good. Sergeant Walsh is already in trouble. Need sutures. Okay, now it's the friendly's Shoot. turn. Okay. Attacking. Left click an enemy within your weapons range to attack them. Enemies within your attack range will show your hit chance above their head. Okay. So now with Yuri, I think we're gonna have to take care of some of these guys here. Okay, we have four action points. How many action points are we available? Oh, down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine action points. Use items. Can we use a grenade? Oh, he's a healer. Okay, so he's actually a medic. Okay. So, let's... Finish this guy. Nice. And we still got some points left. Action points allow you to move, attack, reload your weapons during combat. Each weapon costs a certain amount of AP to fire. You have enough left to fire your weapon again. Okay, that's very good. So, will we try to... Oh, we could potentially a 52% chance, 52%, 92% chance. Nice. Oh, he has one hit pip left of health. That sucks donkey balls. Okay, so I think we finish. Final action, spend the rest of this ranger's action points to gain a bonus of your choice. Defend, prepare, usable in combat. End your turn and carry over up to two unused AP to your next turn. Oh, that's very good, I like that. Let's do that. And here we have Spence. So Spence, I think, we should move with two AP points. Okay, does she have a grenade, maybe? Oh, okay. Uh, during combat, your rangers may need to take cover or change attack position. Blue spaces are areas as ranger, that rangers uh, can move to with enough action points. Left for an attack. Orange spaces are areas within the maximum movement range and the red target's previous lines show their new position placed them within the target range. Okay, so red basically we can't take a shot, um, blue we still can take a shot. So I would say maybe we should go here and then take a shot. We are really open here though as well. So let's see. Out of range. Okay, so we do have to get closer, I see. Okay, let's go here. And then shoot at... There we go. We killed him. Excellent. And now we have two items left. So I would say reload. Oh, we don't need to reload right now. What is this? Precision strike. Charge up this ability with each successful attack. 
target a specific area of an enemy to inflict special effects. Ooh, okay. Now, can we heal, actually? How many? Oh, that's three AP. Okay, I was going to heal someone here, but we don't have that time, so... Let's see, if we have three, we can set up an attack that will trigger... Oh, that's Overwatch. Okay, so Ambush is Overwatch, we need three AP for that. Okay. So, I would say, because she's at the edge, let's increase our defense. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, we're losing everybody in our team now. <laughs> We're not gonna win this. Come on, you piece of... There's the problem. Hang in there, November. Almost got it. Almost? We're nearly dead. Oh, we have no chance. Oh, look at that. We can loot inventory? Okay. So... I don't think we have a chance. Reload. Yeah, the warbot. There's no point attacking the warbot. 44% chance, 91% chance. So maybe... Okay, why don't we take one shot at... This guy to kill him. I know he's only one pip, but we might as well. There we go, get the kill. And now we have three... How many pips do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can take another shot. Oh, it's four AP for for him. In this case, I would say reload. And then do an overwatch. I don't know how overwatch works, but we'll try it out. Um, what's the story with the camera? Let's see. Okay. Now, what can we do with her? Um... We don't need to heal, but we can take a shot at 66% hit chance. Okay, let's go. Nice. And I would say, let's go with the overwatch as well. Nice. Okay. Yes, love it. Ooh, that's not good. Oh no! Oh, that was one of our guys. I thought he killed um, our sergeant and was trying to fix the. Got it. November, you have targeting control. Okay, so what's happening? What can we do now? Oh, look at that! We have a vehicle now. Vehicle to online turret. It's time to even the odds. Left click on the vehicle or use tab to select it and then attack the dossier warbot. Okay, so. Okay, so we can switch. We don't have to do them in that order. That's amazing. So we have 8 AP. So let's do an attack. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, I love it. That was so sweet. Okay, so who is now? Yuri? Um, I would say we can head over here. There's two guys left, though. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow, you can actually shoot through people. That is amazing. Okay, so if we move one closer, we can take another shot. And hopefully get a better chance of hitting him. Oh, unbelievable. Okay, so let's take the shot. And then hopefully we can do ambush on this guy. Yes, and that's it. Good, good, good. I like it. Here, you two. I, I think everybody else was meant to die. <laughs> Listen, if you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. Makes sense. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Yes. Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. All right, move out. We're gonna get to keep the vehicle, that would be pretty awesome. I don't think so. <laughs> Look at them doodle bugs run! Come on, cousins! Don't let them scatter! Keep them together while I reload the rocket gun! Ooh, man, I love this thing! 
<laughs> You're now controlling a single character. This is useful when setting up before a fight or navigating past landmines and traps. However, while exploring the world, it's generally better uh, to keep your entire squad together. You can quickly select everyone by pressing space or by left clicking and dragging the cursor. Okay. To move your character, right click on the ground where you like to go. You can also hold down the mouse button and your character will follow your mouse cursor. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So we can just do this. There we go. Or single character in space. Okay, fair enough. Now, he needs a bit of a heal. So can we heal up? Excellent. Does she need a heal? Um, six, it's only three, but I'm assuming... It's free right now because there's no turns. Oh, do they get wasted? Are you kidding me? I didn't realize that. I thought it was just an uh, like an infinite item. Okay, so I just wasted our item. That's interesting. Okay, so we need healing then. Oh, wow. What is this? Inventory. Oh, this is this is insane. This is intense. What do we have here? Unpolished Ranger Batch. Utility price $250. Experience bo bonus plus five percent. Can we wear that? Oh Oh look at that so we can put that Around our neck it gives us an experience bonus And this one here gives us a ten percent damage bonus And maybe experience bonus is better and a hat, nice. Look at that. That's awesome. What else do we have? Oh, Winter Warrior. I wonder if some of these things are because of the version of the game I have. Because, like, I did support, I did back it for the maximum edition, I think. So, what do we have here? Um, Forge from Savage requires one brawling, requires one melee. Do we have any of them? Okay, we can use this one already. It does 10 to 11 damage. Our current one does 5 to 6 damage times 3. Ability unload. So we can compare. Good. It has more damage. It has a higher range. So if we equip that. This one has higher ammo capacity. Higher grit damage but a lower base hit chance. So I think the assault rifle here is much better. It makes a lot of sense. So what's the story with those bullets? Do we, we can't put them here. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to figure all this out because I, like I said, I haven't really played um, these type of games before. Well, not really, like Phoenix Point, I played that, but that was a bit different. Um, mods, mission items, miscellaneous ammunition, armor, weapons, everything. Okay, let's have a look at Spence. I'm sure we can give Spence a nice weapon as well. Oh yeah, look at that. She currently has a pistol. And the pistol is 16 to 20 damage, but then we can give her an old man winter revolver, which has a lower base hit chance. Not by much though, lower crit damage, but it has higher penetration and higher strike rate, whatever that is. And it is definitely more damage. So we could do that, or we could go with a shotgun, but then the range is probably... I don't know, the range is about the same, actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go with melee here. So the question is, do we want to go shotgun or revolver? Crit chance 4, crit damage 1.9, base hit chance is 95%. That is a really awesome base hit chance. Double your phone fires two times in a row and has 70% wider spread, but with minus 45% hit chance. That's the special ability, okay? What's the special ability of that? It doesn't have one. So let's have a look at the attributes. Action points, max 3 plus 3 plus 2. So coordination is... Your physical condition, self-control, and health take care of your body. So that's the action points we're going to get, okay? Then luck is the chance of crits, chance of okay. Awareness. Oh, that's our current awareness. Okay, and so in here, this is how it goes up. Okay, I see. So here we get four. We can have up to five action points. That would be really, really good. I like that. 
And what is, is Spence focus on? Spence focus kind of on speed and awareness. Awareness is a good sense of his surroundings, a good range of nose, hit chance. Okay, so we can increase our hit chance and hit chance and perception. And then we have skills. Brawling. Makes you more effective with fist weapons. Oh, okay. Small arms. So she actually is a melee um, kind of person as well. We have to try that out when we feel a bit more comfortable with everything. First aid one. Okay, and what is Spence? Automatic weapons, of course. Okay. Perks. Non skill perks. Hardened to eat a bullet. So this is then extra buffs or something we can assign ourselves. Okay, makes sense. And then here we have the map. Okay, and the mission log. Primary mission, welcome to Colorado. We don't have a secondary mission. Find a way to the top of the dam. Enemy forces firing on convoy from the top of the nearby dam. Major Prazad ordered us to rendezvous there for counterattack. On our way up, we should look out for the rangers. So sorry if this is a bit slow now. I just need to get familiar with everything. Fame. Oh, this is a good guy, this is a bad guy. So we don't have much fame. The more you impact the lives of the people of Colorado, the more locals will recognize you. As your fame grows, more folks will sign up to become rangers, to fill our ranks so we get more cannon footer. All right, this is really, really good. I like this so far. All right, so thanks for bearing with me with all that. And again, in the comments, leave me all the information about these type of games and, and the stats and what you think is important. It definitely would help. So can we loot them now? So let's go. So seeing that it's a shared inventory, it doesn't really matter who gets the loot or who picks it up. Loot all. Oh, excellent. So we can loot everybody that's in the vicinity. What do we have here? Scrap. Cast your watch. Stylish. So that's for selling. Yellow snowball. <laughs> and another crusty nose ring. Oh, what is this? A Polaroid photo. The picture is completely faded. So nostalgic. And muscle tissue. Heap of muscle tissue. Trying to level mad science. The raw material is needed for entry level mad science. Interesting. All right, so that's everybody looted here on the field. Okay. Okay, we should be pretty okay here, hopefully. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, psycho. So now with him coming in, we could potentially. Um, what is that red ring? Can we just attack him? What happens if we just click on him to attack him? Oh, I see. That's our range, the red circle. Oh, that was good. Excellent. So we can reload. And there's some loot here. Oh, we have some ammunition. Very good. There's a building over there. So why don't we head over here? Oh, corpse. Okay, let's let's head over here. Take cover! Get off the ice! Ah, oh, okay. I don't think he survived that. This ranger corpse eyes are wide open. They reflect the fire of burning trucks. Yeah, there's nothing to loot here. Nothing left. Okay, let's head over here. Someone sliced open this ranger's uh, abdomen and removed his intestine. Judging by the expression that is, that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. Holy balls, man. That is pretty hardcore. Reserve trail and dumb overlook. Okay, that's where we have to go. Is there no side object salute? Maybe you blew her up already. Liar! I want her head! It's gonna be Can we save her? Where is she? I don't know. I don't know! You're hot! Fuck! Your friends are here! Okay, Hotlanders, drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? The only way you don't die is if you run, so get lost where you still can. 
So we could do that. I mean, he is a hard ass. Or we could try talking to them. I don't know what the difference is. We could just kill her. Okay, let's try talking to her. You ain't heard of the Dorseys? The bringers of the deluge? Ha! <laughs> You're more ignorant than I thought. Okay, just kill her. Best oh, I no. told you I'd kill her! See, if we would have shot with her expecting it, then she wouldn't have been able to shoot her. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna have assume that she would have killed her either way. What do we have in the container here? Oh, some real world money and a lighter. Okay. Looks like the Dorseys haven't uh, been camped here long. They must have known we were coming. Oh, hang on. A tape from Jody's folks wishing her well on her mission with the Rangers. Ah, oh, great. Now I feel even worse. Radcut's coupon. The coupon reads free haircut at Radcut's. Okay. Uh -oh. Her head is down, all right. Down on the ground. Hey, got my ammunition, very good. So we have ammunition for our guns. Okay, very good. We have 15, 55, 30. So there is actually not even unlimited ammunition. That is amazing. Okay, so let's see where we're going. Don't be grieving long. Murders! Sick fucks! I don't think we can save them, can we? I suppose we could come from here, or we could come from behind. I think coming from behind might be better. So we could go here with him. Oh, I can see it. Okay. So maybe we can actually come from the other side with, uh, with her. So this is where we will be seen. Okay. I don't think there's any other way of doing it. Maybe we can go over here. Okay, let's go very far in the back. And crouch. And let's attack. Let's do it! Oh. There we go. Combat started. Okay. So, quick takeover. Taking cover... Uh, quick, quick take cover. Taking cover protects you from enemies' gunfire and improves your weapon hit chance. There are two types of cover. Low and high. High cover provides the best protection. Watch out, though. Cover only protects you from attacks coming from that direction. Okay. That enemy has taken cover. To flank them, try moving to a new firing position on the battlefield by hovering on a grid space with a mouse and right-clicking. Okay. So, right now, Spence has actually a very good angle. Hmm, okay. So, let's head over here. And... Nice. We have another three action points, so we could kill... Uh, could we kill him? Oh, he still has a bit of left. Okay, we can definitely finish him off. There we go. And I think we should take this one to prepare for the next turn. I can see everything now. Okay, that's okay. We're going to head over here. I would say cover. And then maybe 53% chance. Hmm. Let's try it. 
Yes. Very good. Beautiful. Look at that. I press space. Oh, okay. They have to be both on the screen. Okay. So let's loot. What do we have here? Injury kit. Used to remove any injuries taken. Okay. Very good. We have some ammunition. More ammunition. Polaroid. And that's just some junk. And a bird book. Okay. Let's talk to Private uh, Beltum. Or Beltran. Why didn't you get here sooner? Look what they did to Joey! He, he's dead! Damn right! Gotta get poor Joey back to AC! I don't care! I'm finding a way back! I can't let Joey be buried here. The ground's too cold. You're a ranger, you have your orders. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. We're leaving without you then. We need you, you can still fight. Are you kidding yourselves? We are done. Just let me go. Right, we're not gonna threaten to kill her, fine. We're leaving without Good. you then. We don't need you. All right, I didn't want to threaten her, that would just be weird. Okay, we don't need any reloads, we're fine. We still have some ammunition, good. Let's go. Oh, there's a medic uh, grid. Oh, wow, what the, what the hell? <laughs> Welcome to Colorado, wow, okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we have in the medical ki uh, kit. It requires one first aid, okay. Oh, we used the key. Nice, we have a grenade. So seeing that's all limited, we have to be careful that we don't waste the grenades like I did with the healing. Upgrading your gear. You've looted an item upgrade. Click the inventory button on the hood or use I to access the inventory screen and equip your new gear. Upgrading your gear. Let's equip your new gear. Choose a ranger by selecting their portrait near the top of the inventory screen or pressing tab, then left click and drag the item from your inventory into the character's equipment slot. So these are all new items actually we picked up since we last looked at our inventory. Ah, okay, so we can put them actually on the tool belt. So I would say for her to put a grenade on and for him to put a grenade on and she can actually heal okay excellent very good i like it there we go yeah it's pretty cruising ah! what the hell Lost the plot, baby. Okay, the game just saved. That means something bad is gonna happen. Oh, look at that. Turrets and a robot. Holy balls. Okay, so let's actually go back first. Okay, what is the range of... Okay. 600. Okay, we might want to avoid this guy altogether. I mean, theoretically, all we want is get the computer to shut down this turret and then sneak past this robot somehow. Hey, 
Enemy detection. Look out. There's a big ass robot ahead. Luckily, it doesn't see you yet. Stay out of its detection range to, unnoticed, uh, to go unnoticed. You can get the first turn in combat by attacking an enemy before it spotted you. However, you cannot stress enough how badly that robot will fuck you up right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like, yeah, you know, you can get the jump on him. But he's gonna kill you pretty quickly. <laughs> I love it. I love the sense of humor here. Okay, so let's see if we can with her sneak in. Okay. The computer displays reads Aegis Automated Defense Network. Enter command. Status ready. Um, disable defenses. Step away from the. Disable defenses. Disable network. Disable system admin authorization for required restart. Okay, so how are we gonna get past Mr. Robot? Okay, let's go, quick. Okay, I hope that was good. Hidden objects and perception. Wow, what was that? Some objects in the world are hidden. Each character in your squad has a perception stat that indicates how well they're able to spot hidden objects, like alarms, traps, or secrets. Oh. She can't disarm it, so... Maybe she can go here and open it? <laughs> Look at that, a revolver, rotator, and spikes, and a smoke grenade. Nice. So this generator will open the gate and then we can potentially walk around and he won't see us. Okay. So let's do it. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Okay. Rangers, Rasad here. Took care of the hostiles who jumped me, but, but those bastards are still up there on the dam. I found a spot to hunker down and give you some cover when you get there. But I'm afraid this this will be mostly on you. Good luck and, and hurry. Okay. It's another chest. Critical chance plus three. Sign up for the chicken fight. <laughs> Battle Royale. Ten teams will enter the lake, but only one will emerge victorious. Sign up is available now for premium club members. Please, no participants will also need to sign a wrongful death waiver sheet. <laughs> oh, I love it. Do we have infinite space? Because I will be picking up everything. No, we don't. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's nothing much you can do. There's... Oh, there's a mat. Oh, look at that. So, how about we put that here? And put that there as well. So that way we have the self-healing here. Because this is for self. And this one here is a mat pack used to restore 35%. Health per turn over three thir turns. Yeah, that's a serious one. So we don't really need this right now, I think. Okay, let's go. I would feel slightly better if she would go ahead. There's an armor box because she has the high perception. Energy cell, okay. Okay, more healing and other stuff. Oh, what was that? That was more than healing. That was a nitro spike. Incapacitated party members don't need to stay down. All they need is a spike, a friend, and a quick step. Okay. So there's gonna be a lot of items. I don't have a clue yet about how to use okay let's go all right let's go yeah. 
On the other side of the door, you can hear rough voices and laughter and rocket fire. Open the door. We have to. Here we got the rocket launcher guy. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> okay. Who's Erastus? <laughs> My big brother. He'd have loved to take a piece out of you, but that's okay. I'll bring him one later. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> you don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save. Whoa. They done killed Jared. That wasn't us. Sorry. Uh, never shut up. <laughs> Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Excellent. Oh, that was sweet. I was I was now. already looking forward to an epic battle and then bam, head off. I love it. Okay, so we have an ambusher here. I don't know the units yet, but can we kind of look at the units and get an, um, a reading on them? Or do we have somewhere like a archive? Yeah. Okay, archive, creepy dolls, no entry cassette tapes, tutorials. Is there anything on the actual units? No, okay. All right, I thought there would be a way of looking at like an archive of the type of units and what they do. We have a guy here and we have a stalker there and we have a killer there. Again, I don't know the difference between stalker, killers and ambushes, but 91 okay so why don't we go here and then do a 91 percent uh, hit chance okay and we have one ap left so let's use that for extra defense let's just take a shot here and then we can take those three precision strike charge up this ability with each successful attack so in the next round we can use precision strike okay and why don't we use this to prepare for the next round? I'm gonna come at the rear! Yes, for you! Oh, nice. I forgot that uh, our, our friend over there, Sergeant... What's her face? Vera Prasad is actually on our side. Okay, what do we have here? Blood. Nice. Blood. Oh, your strike meter is full. You charge up your strike meter each time you make a successful attack. Each weapon type has a unique strike. A powerful special attack that can turn the tide of battle. Click the strike button in your quick bar and press F to give it a shot. Wow. That is insane. Head, 50 to 60 damage, deals 175 bonus damage. Okay, let's go for the body because he's nearly dead. Oh, love it. That is amazing. And then we can take the other two AP to... Let's go into defense. So now we have a dude over here. And one over here. Let's move here. And attack our friend here. So much. Beautiful. Okay, he has a special attack, but he needs um, 4 AP, which he has left. 95%? Okay, let's do it. Let's go for the headshot. Oh, it's only 12 to 14 damage, though. Well, why not? Let's try it. Oh, yes! 
Beautiful. Oh, what happened? Leveling up. Your rangers have leveled up. Leveling up grants them upgrading their skills. At later levels, they also gain additional attribute points. To upgrade your skills, use K and le or left click on the inventory. Okay. Leveling up rewards each character uh, with skill points uh, that can be spent to upgrade their existing skills or learn new ones. It only costs a single skill point to increase the skill early on, but this cost goes up. Okay, the usual, basically. Upgrades the skill by left-clicking. Okay. Weapon modding allows you to modify your weapons and strip them down for parts. Oh, we got a new perk. It's a new perk. You never know what you're going to find when you take a weapon apart. Oh, nice. Okay. Now it goes automatic weapons. And I think we should definitely go with at least level one first aid. Yeah, okay. And leaving the screen will confirm any pending skill points you have allocated. Do you wish to continue? Yes, so we leave that. Excellent. Okay, so now he has all the points assigned. Very good. I like it. Two points in the small arms. And Survival improves your ability to avoid dangers on the world map and content with, content with hostile wildlife. Allows you to use hack computers and turn hostile robots to your side. Okay, that would be actually good. Lock picking. Allows you to tame friendly animals to follow you and temporarily tame hostile animals in combat. Oh, wow. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go with nerd stuff. Hacking computers and turn hostile robots, that would be pretty awesome. Okay. I probably messed it up completely, but hey-ho. Alright, let's loot. Old handkerchief. Old handkerchief, some muscle tissues, some scrap. Spikes, spikes. Very good. And then we have some crates here. Do we have any crates here? No, but we definitely have one here. Nice. Mad packs. And some old money and cigarette butt. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's talk to... Oh, let's get this box here first. Oh, maybe not. Major Passat's breath stems, uh, steams from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. First aid, it's clear to you she's in shock. It's incredible she's still conscious. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Um, it doesn't matter. There's not enough of us left. This mission is over. What happened to you? I got jumped by more of these foxes. I was oh, sneaking up here. I got them all. But the last one got me with a skin and knife before I finished him. But I, I asked you a question, Rangers. Did anyone else make it? No, it's just us. It doesn't matter. There's not enough of us left. The mission is over. No, it's just us. Damn it. <coughs> Damn fit of coughing takes her and she fumbles in her knapsack. I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. We need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch no matter what. We do that and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. How secret? Who else knows about them? <laughs> no, let's go on. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an, sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. What do you know about this Patriarch? Who's Angela Death? Part of the ranger squad that took down base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's, who's still alive. Is that connected? Is that, uh, if you played Wasteland 2, let me know if that's connected. Because I, I never played it. Almost died on a mission in California, but, but she found her way home. I can't, can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath and we can go. Are you sure? Help her up. Major, with all due respect, you're dying. You need to face this like a ranger now. <laughs> Help her up. 
As you pull her up, her shaky smile becomes an agonized grimace. You look down, her intestines have slumped out of her, tumbling to the snow. Yeah, might need a plaster. <gasps> she crumbles to the ground, dead. Can we loot her? All right, all right, look at that. We get some gear, we get some ammo rifle. Okay, thank you. We might as well equip it. Um, he already has a fancy hat, so I would say for gear, put both of the gear on her. Oh, I love that you can see it. Oh, that is so amazing. Okay, that's it. What's our mission now? Rangers Last Hope Level 1. Uh, we assume command following the death of Major Ver uh, Vera Prasad. The mission is the same. Make contact with the Patriarch. Establish a new Ranger HQ and get the supplies flowing to Arizona. Along the way, we should keep an eye out for Angela Death. Welcome to Colorado Complete. Excellent. We're going to leave this here. So we're going to continue with the next mission. I don't know exactly how it works, if they can be broken down per mission, per episode or something. But we'll see. We'll play it by ear and go from there. Anyway, this is really fun. I really like the way this is done with the storytelling and the turn-based combat. And it's really nice. Of course, it's very overwhelming with all the stats and the attributes and skills. But I'm sure you guys have enough... Um, experience in those type of games you can leave any useful feedback and comments and tips and hints in the comments anyway i'm gonna continue next time